Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Asad International Academy. In 2021, today I am here to explain the genuine and clear difference between novel hypothesis and alternate hypothesis with very very easiest and shortcut tricks which nobody tells you about that. And I have a good news for you that I am providing free of course online books of introduction to statistical theory part 1 and part 2. If you want to gain these two books, then just do the comments below the video. I will provide you a link to download that, speech, that book. Now, without wasting any time, let's solve the lecture. So here, first of all, I am going to discuss about the null hypothesis. What is the, what is the null hypothesis? Must remember, null hypothesis is always for rejection. Must remember, null hypothesis is always for rejection. Very, very important point. And alternate hypothesis, you can write alternative hypothesis is always for acceptance. This is the main difference between null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. Now I'm going to discuss the easiest definition about the null hypothesis. What is null hypothesis? You can write here a null hypothesis or null hypothesis. Generally denoted by generally denoted by the symbol H naught. Generally denoted by the symbol H naught is any hypothesis is any hypothesis which is to be tested for which is to be tested for possible rejection for possible rejection for possible rejection I already told you that for the possible Rejection under the assumption it is true. Under the assumption you can suppose that assumption that it is true. That it is true. And must remember a, a main important point H node is always have three signs. Number one equal must remember. Second, greater than and equal and last third less than equal. Must remember. So must remember H naught have three signs equal or greater than equal and the less than equal. That's clear. So now I have cleared the point null test is always for rejection. And last point alternate hypothesis. Alternate is for acceptance. The definition is very very easy. You can write here alternate hypothesis Alternate or alternative hypothesis is any other hypothesis is any other hypothesis which we accept which we accept Which we accept when null hypothesis is rejected. When null hypothesis is rejected. So must remember that uh, alternate is for acceptance. In that case, it is denoted by H H one. Or we can say that it is denoted by H A. H1, H A or H1 is denoted by the alternate hypothesis. It is, this is also has three signs. Equal, so here will be does not equal. These are opposite to each other because this is the rejection case, this is the, uh, this is the acceptance case. Equal or does not equal. That's clear. Here will be greater than equal. You can write here 
less than. That's the last point. If you can less than equal, you can write here this thing. You can write the vertices case. These are the vertices case. Because you can say that if here x1 is does not equal, you will write here x not equal. That's clear. And if you have case of x1 is less than, then x not will be automatically greater than equal. And last, if sine x1 is always greater than, then it will be less than and equal. I hope that you have cleared the concepts about the non hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. I hope that you have cleared the point. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel. I must press bell icon button for getting notification of my new lecture. Goodbye.